Hey guys, welcome to another DIY video. This is Busmaster99. Today, I'm going to be showing you how you can replace the turn signal stock in a ninth generation Honda Civic. This one specifically is a Civic Si, but it shouldn't matter. So first step you'll want to do is you want to turn the ignition on to the accessory mode, but I'm going to turn the ignition on so you don't hear that annoying beeping. Next, you want to turn the steering wheel so you see this clip. Take a flathead screwdriver and pop it up. Doesn't take much effort. Other side, exact same thing. Pop it up. Turn it to the center again and lift should pop up like that. Next thing you'll want to do is you'll want to telescope the wheel all the way back. And you'll want to remove this piece. If you don't remove this piece, you will not be able to remove either of the stocks. Next step, there are three screws you need to remove. There's one there, one on the other side, and then one underneath. But for this video's purpose, I have already removed the underneath screw. It looks like this. So let's remove these screws here. Oh, wrong screwdriver. One. Other side. And you'll want to be careful, because this could fall right down. Straighten the wheel. Pull this down, if it didn't already come down. Turn off the ignition. And then, right back here... Hang on a minute. Let's see if I can't get this any lower. There we go. Just when I said that, it popped lower. So you see this clip right here that I'm pointing to? You'll want to pinch this, and then there's another clip just like it underneath. Pinch them both, and you'll be able to slide this out. But before you do that, make sure you disconnect this connector in the back. It'll be kind of hard to see, but... I'm going to disconnect it for you guys. So you pinch this little prong, and then you just got to get it, got to get at it right. I recommend pulling the cable before pulling out the stock. Cable is out, and it slides out like that. This is what it looks like. Out with the old, in with the new. This is actually an Acura turn signal stock. It has everything that the old one has except for this button here, which is for the right side camera. But I never touched that button, so I won't be missing out on much. And plus it has the uh, lights off feature where you can turn off all the lights and daytime running lights when you have the parking brake applied. So now I'm going to slide the new one in. Let's see. I hope I'm getting this right. All right, momentary hiccup. I was unable to fit it, now I am. All right, and you don't wanna to forget to reconnect this connector here, otherwise it will not work. So connect it, then reverse the steps you took to get this off. So I'm gonna pull this up like so until it lines up with the screw holes. I'm going to turn on the ignition so that it unlocks the steering column. As you can see, the lights are on right now. I'm going to do a test. Parking lights on, fog lights, automatic. As you can see, the uh, lights off mode doesn't completely work, but it is a cool feature. 
going to release the parking brake. See, generally, the way it should work is the lights would go off and then they stay off until you release the parking brake, but that's not the case here. So I'm gonna put it back into neutral. But that's off topic, I'm going to, hold on, where did that other screw go? All right, found the screw. I'm gonna make sure it's lined up right. I'm gonna turn this in partially. Screw the rest of that in. Other side. And for this video's purpose, I am going to put that last screw in. Oops. Right, that's secured. Now the last screw is a bit tricky, but what you want to do is you'll want to go under here and there's a small hole right there. Can't quite see it. Nope. Wow, it wasn't even going in. There we go. All right, screw is in. And that concludes this DIY. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Peace out.